Hey guys, <clears throat> Steven back to uh, give you a little update on what I've been working on. And uh, I'm sure some of you are very anxious uh, for the next minecart tutorials. And those are coming, I promise. Uh, I've been kind of tied up, and then in the free time, I've been like, well, do I want to do something boring or something super fun and awesome? And uh, I kind of decided to do super fun and awesome. But this week I'll be doing the tutorials. Uh, I'm hoping to have like three more of the minecart stuff and you'll be able to implement like your full subway base like I had uh, built in my first video ever but this is my little creeper shrine with lava face I like it but uh, that's not the super fun thing I've been doing you know I started working on this um, 7 seg monitor here with the purpose of kind of hooking it up to various uh, computer parts so not like a full computer like you've seen the people do uh, that takes, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks, just some kind of fun stuff like calculators and timers and counters and that kind of thing. So you can see at night how cool it looks. But what I did was, I got this thing hooked up, uh, you know, before I would hit a lever and it would uh, light up the corresponding number. But you can't hook up a calculator to levers like that. And the reason is that um, calculators on a basic level don't work in decimal numbers, you know, they work in binary numbers. So we're talking about calculators for um, for computers. Uh, the adding machine in your in your processor does not use always the same technology that another calculator would. So it's going to use binary because that's all that computers can really handle. So what I did was I got um, what's called a decoder, meaning uh, the binary inputs are decoded into their decimal equivalents. So if you enter the binary number for zero, which is just zero, it's the same, then the decoder tells it to display a zero. So I did this for 16 different numbers, which is, like I said before, really common in computer science. You have zero through nine, and then A through F, with A being 10, and F being 15, and the other letters, you know, going in order. So I have my binary inputs here. Um, I've got four of them that I can hook up to a calculator. And I actually have a fifth one, but uh, in order to display five binary digit numbers, you would need two displays, and I haven't hooked it up yet. But uh, I wanted to show you the thing, because it took me a long time, it was really cool, and I'll give the links to it. I can't really give you a tutorial on building it, because it's really, really complicated, and it would take five or six videos of just building. It'd be super boring, and you could do it just as easily yourself. Um, so, I'll show you, the, I'll demonstrate real quick, and then we'll go look at the guts. But basically, I don't want to do a full binary tutorial, because there's tons of them out there, and there's lots of resources. And I know you guys can look it up on your own, but instead of uh, digits 0 through 9, like we have in the decimal system, so the number system we use all the time, the only digits you have are 0 and 1. And with these, you can still make every number that you can with decimal numbers, but they're, they tend to be longer, which is a sacrifice you make uh, for only having two digits, which the two digits are just off and on, uh, you know, like a battery off and on. So I, I went ahead and labeled the levers and told you how much value each one gives. So we can uh, cycle through the numbers really quick here. So if all of them are off, it gives us zero. If we turn on one, then a second later we get one. And if we just turn on two, it gives us two. If we just turn on four, it gives us four. And if we just turn on eight, okay, we get eight. And so that's for just single levers. Now if we mix and match them, we, you just add up the numbers on top, right? So, um, for example, uh, 1 plus 2, we expect to see 3. And these are torches to show you what the binary number looks like. So, you read it from right to left here, it'd be, uh, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 1. That's uh, 3, and there's our 3. So we could add 4 to that, and we'd expect 7. 0, 1, 1, 1. And there's our 7. And if we add 8 to that, 7 plus 8 is 15. And 15, I said, corresponds to F, and there's our F. So um, you can really combine these in any way, and what this would represent is, if I had a calculator over here and I told it, like, all right, what is um, 5 plus 4, and it would feed into these levers, oops, lag there, feed into the levers and tell us the answer is 9. So that's why this is useful. It was obviously easier to use the levers before to dial in the numbers, but that's just kind of, you know, it's not doing anything. This we can hook up to to mathematical functions, so it can actually do something. And of course, I haven't built the adders yet, because it's rather time-consuming, but I plan to. So these lines 
uh, just go to our decoder and I had to put in a bunch of repeaters because, as you know, redstone can only travel for 15 blocks. And um, so the far left one, I'm not using this digit because I only needed a 16 bit, or sorry, yeah, a 4 to 16 decoder. And this design is a 5 to 32, so it's kind of twice as much work. But I didn't want to um, design a 4 to 16, so I borrowed somebody's 5 to 32. And I'll put the link in there. So basically what this does is it tells you, um, it tells the, sorry, the the display which decimal number to activate according to which of these lines is lit up. And I'm going to show you the details of it. So it's um, 7 layers, uh, 38 across, and 18 wide. Or, sorry, 38 long and 18 wide. And there's over 500 redstone torches and dust in here. And you can see it's like absolutely crazy to look at. And it's really, really long. <laughs> uh, it took forever. I had to remake it twice because of minor errors, but now it works. So then this guy is actually hooked up to the what I showed you in the last video, which was the decimal to seven segment decoder. So this tells it which segments to light up on here. So we have binary inputs coming in, which are decoded into decimal numbers. Each of these torches represents one decimal number. There's 32 of them. And then the decimal numbers are decoded into segments on the display. And this is more or less how it's done in the real world. Um, you can take shortcuts and convert strictly from binary to the seven segment, uh, which is what I like to do when I build. But um, that is how it works, though. It's really cool. Uh, and I'm going to give you all the tools that you need to build this. I'm just not going to show you myself, which I hope doesn't upset you too much. But you will have the guidance of my friend, the Xbox Nut. And then as far as the... Um, 5 to 32 decoder goes, I'll give you the link, and you'll just have to uh, muscle through it, and uh, I can give you guidance on it, but I would not be the one to show you how to do it, because it would be so boring. But, uh, so yeah, this is what I've been working on. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the next step for this, I'm going to hook it up to a, um, let's see, a, a counter, which is a form of memory that registers how many times something happens, and then the counter you can actually have it display how many times something's been counted. And then the calculator, of course, which will be an adder and a subtractor. And then from there you can make a multiplication device, a division device. Uh, you can make memory to store whatever you feel like. I don't know. We'll kind of see where it goes. But um, So that's my next steps with this. But in the meantime, I'm going to get working on the uh, subway tutorials because I know lots of people are waiting on that. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. It took me forever. I'm very proud of it. And it's super fun. And you know you totally want one. So get out there and build one. So this is Steven. Stay tuned for more tutorials and exposés. And if you have any requests or wishes or anything of that nature, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.